Hi, my name is Kevin Taylor. I have a simple question for the president. Is Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado enabling the CID boss, Tiwa Adodankwa, to break the jaws of democracy? This is the Friday editorial. With all due respect, to be very honest, I have deeply regretted voting for Nana Arudankwa Ekufu Ado because he has shown in these few days through the CID boss and the NCA that he is a petty power drunk tyrant who can't stand criticism from his political opponent. In fact, I have lost all the respect for this president and the so-called intelligent men who have surrounded him. As a young Ghanaian, I am so ashamed to call this tyrant as my president because he has shown that he is a terrible leader who can't accommodate criticism but expect others to accept his lies and criticism of others. What is happening in Ghana today is a disgrace to every Ghanaian like myself who voted for this old tyrant to become president. Today, we have a certain president who is using state institutions to intimidate his political opponents or because he feels he is losing grips of his own presidency. His popularity has dwindled because of his bad policies, whilst his immediate opponent is becoming more and more acceptable both locally and internationally. So that has forced this president to make these childish and disgusting decisions, decisions to silence the media and suppress his political opponent. My fellow Ghanaians, it is said that when the rule of law and social justice are violated, democracy lacks credibility and legitimacy. Many are internally hit by the happenings in this country today but they are scared to voice out their true feelings. Others too have seen the signs on the walls, but out of hypocrisy and selfish tribalistic stupidity, they have gone into hiding. Without due respect, today under the human rights lawyer's presidency, media houses struggle to be left free to broadcast or publish stories without any Jubilee House interference. Though the constitution provides for this freedom of access and dissemination of information to the public, in reality, it is not reflected. President Nana Arudankwa Ekufuado says he supports media freedom, but his commitment and actions do not reflect that. Freedom of the press means much more, not just words of mouth. This must be seen by action, commitment, and felt in the newsroom and media houses. Now, I would like to ask you, Mr. President, how do you feel when you put we the citizens who gave you power through such tension and agony? In fact, you have made people like us who voted for you, Nana Adodanko Ekufuado, look like idiots. You have actually proven to we Ghanaians that your thirst for revenge and crime is beyond measure. You refer to yourself as an incorruptible politician, a human rights lawyer, but you have become a tyrant and turned people who criticize your policies and expose corrupt deals in your government into fugitives in their own country. The safety of journalists covering sensitive stories and on earthing it to the public remains a big challenge under your administration. You are trying everything in your power to take their voices away by shutting down their only source of communication. To me, this is so shocking coming from someone like you because you are one of the few politicians who actually enjoyed all the freedom to express your tribalistic thoughts from region to region without anyone laying a finger on you and your group of tribalistic hoodlums. In fact, Dana Adudankwa Ekufu Ado, you have to be ashamed of yourself. I thought voting for you was going to come as a blessing, but it turns out that you are just a lying old man suffering from an unimaginable pettiness of curse. With all due respect, Mr. President, your plan to silence we Ghanaians, more especially the media, will not work. For your information, Mr. President, don't think silencing the media houses and journalists will guarantee you a lifetime presidency. If that is your wish and ambition, then with all your respect, Mr. President, you are living in a fool's paradise. I thought you were a man who had all the brains and ideas to change the lives of Ghanaians as you promised when you were hungry and sick for power. Today, you have succeeded in using a greedy, ignorant, big jaw woman like Tiwa Adadankwa to frustrate we the people. But don't forget, Mr. President, that the people you meet on your way up are the same people, Mr. President, you will meet on your way down. You are full of tension, Nana Adudankwe Kufuado. We the people feel you are basically a curse to us because you have inflicted more misery and pain into our hearts 
in these few years than any president in our history. The main reason why we voted for you and made you president was because you told us you were going to make our lives better than before, Mr. President. That's what you said. Not knowing you were going to be a curse to our future, and here we are. You can't point out your promises anymore, Nanado Dankwe The 375 schools you said you were going to build. Yes, the dams, the ultra-modern hospitals, the 12-inch asphalt roads, and the 1 million, one million per constituency you promised. The factories and the million promises you promised we Ghanaians. But you have the time to use an ignorant, huge jaw woman to intimidate your political opponent. Closing down media houses, chasing journalists out of their own nation, and killing the ones who are bold to expose your bad deeds. Mr. President, you are petty and childish, and the quicker you realize that, the better for your political career. Finally, with all due respect, my calls to the citizens of Ghana, including our intellectuals, pastors, and imams, is to realize that we are all in this together. When we all allow these senseless activities to thrive unchallenged, sooner than later, even you who is disinterested in politics will get affected. Regardless of our different political opinions and any other classifications, we must all continue to unanimously challenge and condemn the abuses going on in this nation. Yes, the abuse of power by this president and his puppets like this big jaw woman called Tiwa Adodankwa should be a big worry to every Ghanaian. The truth is that Dana Adodankwa Ekufuado has disappointed Ghanaians including his fanatics. Ghana is approaching the tipping point. Just beneath the facade of democracy is a real tyrant. My advice to you, Mr. President, is simple. Respect the rights of the people because just like them, you too was once not in power and will not be in power forever. Treat Ghanaians and your political opponents the way you would love to be treated. Be a statesman, Nana Arudanko Ekufuara. Concern yourself not with the next election, but with the next generation, which is demanding for freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kevin Ekobedu-Taylor, and this is the Friday Editorial.